All right, two months ago on the channel, I was doing my investigative analysis looking for these fake channels. We know last year, Crashy Lion was the king at the throne. This year, he's nowhere to be found, and the crown is for the taking, right? It's a vacant spot. It's like a king of the ladder. I haven't watched WWE in like 10 years. What do they call a thing where they climb up the ladders and get the belt? TLC? Is it TLC? It's a TLC match. At the front of this TLC match is an account called 2K Sports. I know what you're thinking, all right? It is not the actual verified 2K Sports. It is the unverified one that's hiding a subscriber count, but you don't know that. All right, this is where it gets interesting. So I was incredibly amazed last time we checked out this channel because not only has he managed to trick a majority of people into believing that the, the things that he's doing is actually NBA 2K19. We know, it's not. we're not gonna see NBA 2K19 gameplay until a month before launch, if lucky likely two weeks before launch. But he's managed to pull it off and I really wanna dive deep. I know I watched these first three videos in my last video. Yo, check it out. NBA 2K19 high school gameplay and he has Chino Hills on the cover. I need a course in clickbait, absolute fantastic thumbnails and titles from this guy. Man, I would be at like five million subscribers if I just knew like half of what he knew. All right. Beta is out, starts on PC, PS4, Xbox. Visit 2ksports.org to download. If he made a website. Okay, hold up. 2ksports.org. Whoa. Is this real? No, this is not real. What? Okay, hold up. NBA 2K. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if we go to NBA2K.com and we just take a look at the graphics, then we go to his makeshift website. He made a legitimate website that looks identical to the one 2K has. What happens if we click games? It sends us to the actual 2K website. So he didn't even bother doing all the extra work. He's just pretending like this is an accessory website actually owned by 2K. The open beta, here it is, Westbrook's on the cover, even though that's obviously not announced yet. And then he just adds a whole lot of saturation and box blur, etc., to these clips to make him look like they're different. Even though the sweat engine looks horrible, almost like a decade old. Limited time offer, get your keys now before the beta ends. And the beta ends in 22 minutes. What are the odds, right? All right, let me get my keys, bro. What do I have to do? Please complete one offer from our sponsors to download the 2K19 beta. Uh, vous disposez d'un accès gratuit au dénus. I failed like grade nine French, leave me alone. So if you've ever tried to watch movies or streams illegally online, you've definitely come across these at one point in your life. You know, the second you come across these, there is no point in completing any of these because the second you complete them, they're gonna ask for your credit card information. So you'll get back on track. He, he put ads on the website, presumably, and then he gets money every time someone completes one of these from his website, presumably. He gets money off the ads on his on his channel, presumably, unless he's getting copyrighted by 2K, which I don't think so, because he wouldn't be putting in all this effort if he was getting copyrighted by 2K. 2K is like pretty relaxed about a lot of things. They don't hit people with copyright for lying in a video or whatever. But like I could come out with a video and say, Mike Wang assaulted me, and then like, 2K just wouldn't even flag the video. That being said, I'm very interested to see one of these videos. So he has G League gameplay, he has exclusive screenshots, he has NCAA College Hoops gameplay, Forever trailer, exclusive gameplay, and 2000, so we'll watch the E3 gameplay because E3 hasn't happened yet, it happens in a, in a few weeks. So he has E3 gameplay, even though we know 2K never pulls up to E3, he's found a way to not only get gameplay that doesn't exist, but to do it a few weeks early. So I'm curious what this looks like, let's watch it. Did he put a Sony and an Xbox? Games play best on <laughs> It's Xbox one or the one. other, man, you don't put both on there. <laughs> okay, so we know about the beta. Welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Yo, this is like Crashy Lion on steroids, y'all. I'm so excited for what I'm about to see. Game six of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Cavaliers are down two games to three with the opportunity to prove... The graphics are really pixelated. You can tell. You can see the pixels. You can tell it was downloaded from like YouTube or maybe even on a stream somewhere. This isn't actual original footage. This looks way too pixelated. Either that or his render settings are awful because he, he looks like he's new to this, but all right. Their fans 
Olympics, and most importantly, themselves. It's a pivotal must-win battle against the Boston Celtics. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Visit 2ksports.org to download the open beta, 2K19 open beta build, not the final product. All right, so off rip, you don't need me to tell you that the sweat engine is completely off. Like these guys look like they're glistening, like they just lathered themselves in baby oil. It doesn't make any sense. On top of that, I like how in the back, it has save 30% of all NBA 2K18 VC cards now through May the 27th, which happens to be today that I'm recording this. So off for it, we, I mean, we knew it was fake, but let's just continue to pile up the evidence. Let's make this fun. That home crowd. All right, so first of all, uh, Sportsnet. That would be fantastic, by the way, for those who don't know, in Canada, we don't have ESPN and the TNTs as much as we have the Sportsnets and the TSN, so we know about Sportsnet over here in Canada. Also, the playoff game six down here is incredibly stretched thin. I don't know why he, there's ways to edit it where you didn't have to do that. He looks like a, an, an, a very new editor. Let's put it that way, all right? Also, that's not how Sportsnet's design looks, because I watch it, I know. On top of that, it'd be weird for 2K to put text on the screen while they're trying to showcase gameplay. And that'd be ignoring the incredibly obvious fact that this is obviously 2K18, and it looks exactly like it. You can't add a bit of brightness, take the color curves, pull it up a little bit, and then he probably put some sort of saturation adjustment or HST adjust, and then he changed the colors just a little bit to make it seem like it's almost color corrected, like you would in a film. So NLSC, and there's also other one other website that's predominantly used for NBA 2K related mods. So look, they have all kinds of different scoreboards you can use playing on PC. It's super simple. Now this is what TSN looks like. Shout out to TSN. Low key kind of slick, you know? And finally, Finally, we see the one that he probably used is the Sportsnet one. And if you could tell down here, it looks stretched. So if, is there a way to pause it where it says playoffs game six? It indeed looks stretched, right? We could tell. And that's not even how it looks when you're actually watching Sportsnet either. So whoever made that mod just did a pretty awful job. Let's just put it that way. Let's see what the comments are saying. Let's see how many open layups I missed this year if I don't buy VC to upgrade it. NBA Live 19, y'all gotta make the transition. Why is everybody so light-skinned? Pay Live 18 and 2K basketball games. Live's way more fun. They have both pros and cons, but Live 18 was definitely a good. So basically, a Live fanboy using what is an obviously apparent attempt at fake gameplay to stretch their agenda. I can't stand those Live fanboys, bro. Anyone else see Ronnie 2K tweet that 2K19 was done and the release date was September 18th and he deleted it. Remember this comment. Yo, so for the guys who don't know, the second 2K19 launches, a majority of the 2K team will move on to the next NBA 2K. Like four or five months before launch, they're patching things up. At that point, all they're really trying to do is port. So the game is developed on PC, but they have to port it to PS4 and Xbox and have it optimized so we don't have all the server issues and lag and all the bullshit that we generally deal with. On a side note, let me, guys, let me show you guys something right now. Roddy changed his, his his Twitter username to Roddy1K. He's almost like taking the joke with stride. Remember my last video, I was reacting to the Bleacher Report's uh, NBA 1K video, right? All y'all were telling me, Agent, you made so many smug jokes. Okay, I caught them afterwards. That was just my reaction at the time. Hey, finally, so this guy doesn't look like he deletes his comments on like a lot of people, but he tricks a lot of people, which is crazy, right? Looks like a bit upgraded version of 2K14 in my opinion. Let's, let's all do a collective face palm for duplex here. Oh, fuck. How do I do a face palm with a hat on? Did I? Unlike Crashy Lion, unlike all the people of last year, he is actually tricking people. Cause what they would do was they would just delete comments saying that he was lying. He doesn't even have to do a, a, a giveaway or anything. He, he just lets his content live created the fake website. It is so amazing to see somebody put this much effort for presumably what I assume is not even that much money, but it's, I mean, everybody has to hustle. Listen, man, some people sell fake jewelry. Uh, some people make fake YouTube videos, right? To each his own. I'm not even mad at it. I honestly feel like he deserves it. Now, whether 2K steps in and is like, you're gonna stop lying about us right now, that's totally up to them. 
So he has plenty of these. I want to watch this forever trailer. I'm curious. He just makes trailers and gives it them their own name. And he added a little bit of, you can see the little purple here, little blue. All right, okay. It almost looks like Michael Jordan has a game breaker. Mad pixelated. I'm going to let it live though. This is actually impressive, man. Look <laughs> at that guy's face, bro. Zoom in. Zoom into, zoom into the guy's face. Can I zoom in? I'm not allowed to zoom in. It doesn't let me. Man, I hate YouTube. What is this? This is just a series of screenshots. Yo, I'm afraid this is gonna be copyrighted. I don't think he. It just sounds like a copyrighted song, man. I'm gonna read the. If y'all crying about the graphics, get a grip. It's clearly edited to look how it does. <laughs> y'all getting sued? <laughs> My question is why is everybody in the comments commenting like this? So we have people with actual common sense here. Wow, that is fascinating. Okay, NBA Live 19, I'm coming. That guy just made his decision already. This guy has bamboozled the whole community. And honestly, I am not, I'm not even mad, I'm not even disappointed, I'm not even salty, I'm honestly just, I'm impressed. It takes a lot of effort to convince people that something that's easily fake, that they've seen before, is real. Listen man, whoever's in the back of the scenes doing graphic design is, needs to pay raise immediately. Hey man, listen up, shout out to the guy bro. If you guys enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Hey, for future reference, if you wanna check if something's legitimate, it's as simple as seeing if there's a check mark by their name. That's the whole point of being verified on Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm gonna leave it on that though. I wouldn't be surprised if 2K sent a nasty lawsuit in this direction. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if they just didn't say anything about it at all. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.